Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. I'm the pharmacist here at MD Custom RX. Today we are going to be talking about adaptogenic mushroom compounds, otherwise known as biological response modifiers. And I'm going to go through these six mushroom extracts, uh, what they're exactly doing, some research articles. I'm going to highlight some of the, the key points. So let's first take a look at shiitake. Shiitake contains both alpha and beta glucans that are very well studied. What are these beta glucans and alpha glucans glucans are a polysaccharide that are found in the cell walls of the fungi these polysaccharides have a variety of different structures which helps create highly variable light biological effects towards our bodies uh, both uh, alpha glucan studies have found enhancement in both cd4 and cd8 t cells supplementation with shiitake uh, there was a study that showed that it improved or increased natural killer cell activity. Shiitake mushrooms also have something called lentinins, which are a beta-glucan shown in animal studies to increase T-cell activity compared to a control group after four weeks. So that's something interesting that these lentinins help to act as an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant and they even have been shown to have some anti-tumor properties as well. So uh, these lentinins, as they're called, uh, can have a very positive effect on our immune system through the T-cell cell activity. Additional studies have indicated that shiitake mushroom extracts can help reduce C-reactive protein. So as we know, this is a simple blood test that we can have done that is um, a general indicator if we ha are in an inflammatory state. So something to look at from a big picture standpoint is if you're somebody that's suffering with systemic chronic inflammation, I would encourage you to talk to your provider about uh, getting a blood test done for C-reactive protein. That is something that we also do here as well. Uh, if you're interested, you can call the pharmacy. Hey, we can get you a test kit for C-reactive protein. It's a, a very simple at-home test kit. Uh, additional studies have shown increases in uh, secretory IgA to improve mucosal immunity. So what do we mean by this is, well, I'll put a link up here in just a moment uh, that Dr. Stewart, one of our pharmacists, did on acromancia mucinophilia and the benefits of this particular microbe. Mm -hmm. It really, what it's doing is it's breaking down the mucosal layer and rebuilding it. Uh, and that mucin layer is a added protection protection benefit of our immune system and it helps to you know kind of filter out if you will uh, things that should be absorbing through our GI tract into our bloodstream so shiitake mushroom as extract has been shown to help enhance this uh, IgA which lives in that mucosal layer essentially so again another neat benefit to shiitake mushroom extract the next mushroom we're going to talk about is reishi mushroom maybe probably my favorite mushroom extract out there, the mushroom of immortality used in Chinese medicine for thousands of years. This helps to maintain uh, the inflammatory balance based on, well, mice research, but I would argue we could probably extrapolate that to humans. Uh, it can increase natural killer cells. So here's where it's getting into that modulation of the immune system, uh, which is very important in my opinion. Another interesting fact on reishi mushroom extract is the balance between the Th1 and the Th2 helper cells of the immune system. So the way I think about that is kind of like a teeter-totter, which is oversimplification. But essentially my point here is that uh, with autoimmune disease, we get too much shifting to these, these Th1 cells potentially, where that then causes our immune system to uh, kind of forget and, and, and not able to distinguish very well our own cells from maybe pathogens. So we deal a lot with Hashimoto patients here that they have these antibodies being produced against their thyroid tissue. And um, this is a little bit of a rabbit hole we're going down right now. But with that condition, with that autoimmune disease, those patients, um, when they eat gluten, gluten mimics essentially that um, thyroid tissue. And really what it's doing is it's uh, triggering those antibodies to be upregulated and produced uh, more and more and more and more. The more gluten we eat, the more those anti-thyroid antibodies are being created, which is essentially creating more symptoms for that patient, more problems for that patient. So anyways, reishi mushroom might be uh, beneficial for a patient that's got autoimmune disease. 
a lot more research needs to be done on that, but that's something to consider for future studies that, that might be out there. Uh, a meta-analysis of five RTC, so randomized controlled trials, indicating that patients given reishi mushroom uh, extracts have an increased in CD4 and CD8 cells. So again, a positive effect on our immune system, improving our body's ability to essentially fight infections. Uh, another study looked at uh, reishi supplementation showed a 73.2% uh, decrease in plasma concentrations of inflammatory cytokines, TNF-alpha and interleukin-1. And reishi extract and another study looked at increases in CD3 or found increases in CD3, 4, 8, and CD8 lymphocytes. That was also observed. So some interesting studies done on the reishi mushroom extract. Moving on, let's look at chaga. So used in folk medicine in Russia and Western Siberia. This has been around for quite some time as well. Contains betulin and betulinic acid, which can induce apoptosis in damaged cells. Supplementation shown to reduce DNA damage in lymphocytes and reduce oxidative stress by nearly 55%, which is impressive, very impressive in my opinion. So again, somebody struggling to manage their stress response biologically, they might see some benefit from uh, adding some uh, chaga mushroom to their supplement regimen. And then a recent study showed that chaga extract improved free radical scavenging activity and also found to decrease hydrogen peroxide induced oxidative damage in hepatic cells, so in liver cells. The interesting thing with this study that I found was that here's another agent that can help sequester or neutralize hydrogen peroxide production that's in the body. There's another element out there, uh, specifically selenium, that is helpful when the thyroid gland produces thyroid hormone. One of those byproducts in the production of those hormones is also hydrogen peroxide, which is sequestered by taking selenium. So just a complete side note there, but um, something I found interesting that I didn't know, that there's other agents out there that can help sequester hydrogen peroxide. Cordyceps, moving on to cordyceps. The main bioactive constituent in cordyceps, which is an adenosine uh, derivative, with immunoregulatory properties. There are over 200 studies showing cordyceps improve performance by increasing blood flow, boosting ATP, which is again our fuel, our natural energy, and decreasing oxidative stress and fatigue. So cordyceps can really be helpful for that, that patient that, or that, that athlete that's looking to boost athletic performance, in my opinion. A study done in Japan showing cordyceps increased concentrations of creatine and catecholamines after two weeks with supplementation. My concern there with this study though, uh, something that I would caution patients though, if you're looking at taking a cordyceps extract is you don't wanna to get too much into that sympathetic nervous system and producing too many catecholamines and you're constantly just revved up. You wanna find that, that balance, right, of then getting back into your parasympathetic nervous system. So we don't just wanna be on the gas the whole time uh, in my opinion, biologically, we want to make sure our brake system of our body is also uh, well in place. Uh, that's for another talk, another day. Uh, but just be aware of that. So, And then patients with immune challenges, cordyceps mushroom powder extracts have helped balance activity of, again, IL-10. I'm sure we have heard of IL-10 as this pro-inflammatory cytokine. If you're familiar with COVID-19, I'm sure we all are, right? that when you get into that cytokine storm, one of those cytokines that they were looking at is IL-10. So again, further studies certainly could be done with cordyceps and long haul COVID in my opinion. Moving on, pearl oyster, edible mushroom that is cultivated globally as a vegetarian source of protein. Um, I'm not a vegetarian, but just for those uh, vegans, vegetarians out there, uh, something to consider as a good protein source. Uh, it has a good source of B vitamins, of course, vitamin C, vitamin D. Wouldn't be my first choice, but, you know, it's out there. Minerals, glutathione, and ergothionine as well. So uh, glutathione, I'm sure we're familiar with this as well, as a potent antioxidant, right? Uh, I always say it's about five to ten times more potent than vitamin C from an antioxidant standpoint. So something that could be very beneficial. Uh, we also have a sublingual uh, another side note here, but a sublingual glutathione in a nano emulsion here in the pharmacy. 
So I'd rather pick that. But uh, just some more data and some more information. Pearl oysters contain something called purans. It's a beta glucan shown in athletes to reduce respiratory challenges and to increase circulating natural killer cells. So again, those natural killer cells, those nonspecific immune cells that are just, again, roaming around scavenging, trying to pick up any kind of invaders that might be going on in the respiratory tract. Uh, pearl oyster found to support turnover in cholesterol, of cholesterol in plasma and liver, uh, helps to maintain no, um, normal cholesterol levels. Uh, uh, one study found that. And then um, a ubiquitin-like protein found in oyster mushroom uh, shown to in inhibit reverse transcriptase. If you're not familiar with reverse transcriptase, this is what converts RNA into DNA, the enzyme that is commonly found in RNA viruses. So when you're looking at, again, uh, unique natural supplements to help with RNA viruses and to help reduce RNA virus load, this is something that we might want to look at is, is pearl oyster extract. I would just like to take a quick moment to thank you for getting this far in the video. If you are finding value in today's content, I would encourage you to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. 70% of those tuning into this channel are not subscribed, so I highly encourage you to, again, subscribe to our channel. That really helps to motivate us and to put more content out there. So let's get back into the last mushroom extract. The last mushroom extract that I want to look at today is turkey tail. So turkey tail has two components here that are most studied, the polysaccharide K, PSK, and polysaccharopeptide, PSP. These are two protein-bound polysaccharides that have been used in many clinical trials. Uh, one here looked at PSP, improved modulation of the immune system and increasing in T-cell proliferation. Uh, both PSK and PSP enhanced immune cell production and quality of life scores in another study. There's a third study here that looked at PSP improving pain tolerance by binding to the CB2 receptor and upregulating levels of beta endorphin and reducing inflammatory signaling. So IL-1, nitric oxide, and prostaglandin-2. If you're not familiar with CB2 receptors, that is uh, short for cannabinoid receptors. So that's where you're looking at CBD oils that are helpful for reducing pain. It's through the CB2 receptor is one of the, the targets there. So also with turkey tail, there are other clinical trials that were showing supplementation, increasing lymphocyte, natural killer cells activity, CD8, T cells, CD19, B cells, uh, all in a dose dependent fashion. So I have all the references uh, listed here in the last couple of slides. You can take a look at that. If you want more information, uh, feel free to look at that. I would encourage you, so you're like, wow, these, all these uh, mushroom extracts are amazing. How do I get my hands on these? Well, certainly you can go out um, and vet out, you know, the best quality and so forth. Well, I've already done that for you. So we have partnered with a manufacturer here in Wisconsin that sources all of their mushroom extracts from uh, organic farms. And essentially, here is the product here. I'll show this on the screen. Uh, we have named it BioShrooms, uh, and it has those six extracts that I just went over. So if you're interested in that, you can purchase that right through our new Shopify account. And the website there is listed. I'll leave that up for just a moment. So there is some promising information uh, out there that's showing the benefits of beta-glucans from mushrooms, from fungi, possibly helping in promoting the uh, healing effect uh, in COVID-19 patients. So I'll just leave this up there for you to take a look at it for yourself. But this is something that uh, possibly can be helping again through that anti-inflammatory, reducing that, that cytokine storm that patients might want to take a look at and talk to their provider about and our contact information. So again, thank you for watching our video. Hopefully you found value in today's content. I would again petition you to subscribe to the channel, um, give us a thumbs up, and put a comment below. What else would you like to see on our channel? Uh, we will look at those comments and um, make some new videos to provide you with, again, optimal health and wellness. Thank you.